Well, a new production from the Washington National Opera heading to the Kennedy Center this month. And it's a, a mashup of Can Can, Big Band, and Mardi Gras, some of my favorite things. Songbird is bringing a big Broadway star here to D.C., and we have him in studio. Welcome, Ramin Karen Lou to News 4. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good morning. Yes. So you're making your uh, operatic debut with the Washington National Opera. That's right. How excited are you for that? I'm very excited, and it was something I've been looking forward to for a long time. But to be in the room with these opera singers and these opera artists, it's a whole different different world for me. And to see, because for me, like being an artist of that caliber, spiritual and physical, and see what they do with their bodies to make these sounds, I've never experienced anything like it in my life. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell us about Songbird, because there's a story here. What is this story about? Well, okay, in a nutshell, it's about... Two lovers, Songbird and Picchio, who are a struggling cabaret act in the 1920s. They come to New Orleans during Mardi Gras to try and get some work and some money. Then there's this corrupt mayor, Don Andreas, who has his eyes set on Songbird. So him and his corrupt cronies, they, they create this sham wedding to make the real lovers fall, to get married so then he can have an affair with the married Songbird. It's a tale as old as time, as you know. So it's... it's Absolutely, charmingly absurd. It's fun. It's an operetta. So Jacques Offenbach, who this is based on Le Perico, mm -hmm. the, the creative team has put this together. Uh, Jim Lowe, Eric Chomfogel, and yeah. Kelly Rourke have made this into about an 80, 90 minute, fast paced. It's fun. It's off, off the wall, but the music is brilliant. The singing, as you can imagine, mm -hmm. is phenomenal. So it's, it's just light hearted entertainment. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And, you know, different from maybe some of the things that folks may be used to seeing you do, you know, uh, on stage. Um, but what is fun for you um, in taking on a little bit of a different role and a little bit different type of production? Well, for me, as, personally, as an artist, when you're uncomfortable, you get to do things you're, you're not used to and you're forced out of what, you're, what you've become comfortable with. And I think when you're comfortable, things don't, aren't as exciting. <laughs> so I'm very, I've been very uncomfortable here, but in a good way. And yeah. the support from the cast has been phenomenal. And I'm, come, I'm learning a lot because it's a whole different style. But at the same time, it's storytelling. And we're just here to have fun and tell a, a, a great, abs charmingly absurd story <laughs> uh, and to, to entertain. And that's ultimately like the common denominator between mm -hmm. whatever form, whether you're from the opera world, musical world, TV film. Yeah. We're just telling stories. Yes, yes. So what is it like working uh, with Grammy Award winning superstar mezzo soprano Isabel Leonard? I mean, that's got to be fun as well. Nothing I've ever heard in my life. The way she sings, the way she, but she's a phenomenal actress and yeah. what she brings as songbird. But there was a shorthand right away from day one in rehearsals and I've really enjoyed creating this uh, operetta with her. Mm -hmm. But when she sings, it's something else. Like, to think that you know, we rely on our mics and what we do on, on Broadway in the West and in London, England. But her voice, it's phenomenal. Uh, looking forward to this. Uh, going to be a good one for sure. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Songbird on stage at the Kennedy Center until March 23rd. You can get your tickets online or at the Kennedy Center box office.